Each year, people are spending tens of millions of dollars on oral additives to improve performance. Are people actually getting some value from all that money, or are they just wasting their money on snake oil? So today, we're going to find out once and for all whether or not STP or Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer are worth the money. We'll be competing these two in a head-to-head -head competition, and I've decided to compete these two in a competition because they are very similar to each other. Now, I've had thousands of people ask me to test both of these additives, so I think it's going to be a pretty interesting competition. Now, I'm not sponsored by Lucas or STP. In fact, I'm not sponsored by any company. I do want to say thank you, though, to the many of you that support me on Patreon. That's helped me buy two brand new engines that we'll be using and ultimately destroying during today's video. Also, we'll be using a lubricity tester, which will give us a lot of good science as far as whether or not these products provide lubricity. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this project underway. So if you're like me, you're a big skeptic of these lubricity testing devices, especially the ones that have the torque wrench and you have somebody that's applying some sort of a downward force in an inconsistent manner. The only way for this test to be reliable is for everything to be set up and to leave the device alone while it's doing the testing. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Now the way this device works is that a little bearing that comes out of a bearing set is inserted into this slot. Then lubrication, the additive, is applied to the bearing and to this race which will spin at 800 RPMs while weight is applied. Now I will not be changing the amount of weight. I'm only going to be doing two 30 second tests using the downward force which is right at this is right at 12.4 pounds. I previously measured this in a, a different video. And I'll be doing a 30 second test. This is going to spin for 30 seconds and then we're going to take the bearing out and see how much damage there is. Look how thick this stuff is. Okay, as you can see, there's very little damage to the bearing. As you can see, the amount of scoring between the two tests is very similar. It's very hard to capture the measurements on video, so what I'll do is measure that off camera and provide a chart at the end of the video. So how much scoring will we get if we mix this according to the manufacturer's directions? One part of STP and A parts of oil. That's what we're going to find out. All the way to the right is STP. The one in the middle is the STP oil mix. The one all the way to the left is just oil. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Lucas and use 100% Lucas first in the bearing test. I ran the lubricity test twice. You can see a very consistent measurement here. So look at all the air bubbles inside the Lucas. This stuff is really thick and seems to really take on a lot of air. So Lucas calls for a 20% system capacity. So we're gonna be mixing one part of Lucas to every four parts of oil.
So the bearing all we on the right is 100% Lucas. This is the Lucas oil mix. This is just plain oil. And the bearing up top is the STP oil mix. So why did Lucas outperform STP? Probably because I used one to four ratio with Lucas versus a one to eight ratio with STP. So some people will say that's not fair and I understand that perspective. All I'm trying to do is follow the instructions on the manufacturer's container, which says one to four for Lucas and one to eight for STP. So both these engines have been properly broken in. I ran both engines for four hours, which is one hour more than necessary to break in the engine. So what I'm going to do now is drain off some oil from each of these engines and add STP to one engine and Lucas to the other engine. And then I'm gonna run these engines for three hours. Okay, there's 15 ounces in this bottle and that calls for one bottle for four to five quarts. So as I do the math, this is roughly four tablespoons or two ounces for this uh, 15, 16 ounce capacity. So Lucas calls for a 20% ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and add three ounces to the engine. So this is the MSDS for Lucas, and what it says regarding ingredients is it has 60 to 100% of lubricating oils, petroleum, hydro-treated, bright, stock-based. So not a whole lot of information regarding the actual ingredients. So this is the MSDS for STP, and it says that it consists of 60 to 100% of mineral oil and petroleum distillates. Also, it contains less than 5% of calcium long-chain alkyphenate sulfide. Okay, I've had a chance to run these engines for three hours, and what I noticed was that the engine that's using the Lucas is running about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than the STP engine. Now, the STP has ZDDP, which may have made a difference as far as the engine temperature. So at this point, what I'm going to do is go ahead and drain off all the oil in the crankcase from each engine, and these engines are still hot so I can get all the oil out. And once we do that, I'm going to disconnect the oil sensor so these engines will run without any oil in the crankcase. And then we're going to start these engines and run them until they self-destruct. So to recap what we've done, we've ran both engines for four hours for using the uh, break-in procedures. And then what we did was we added the Lucas and the STP to each engine and ran them for an additional three hours. We just finished draining out all the contents in both crankcases. So these engines are completely dry. And as you can see, there's the dipstick and this is the drain plug. So as you can see, the drain plug is removed as well as the dipstick. So if there's any sort of small amount of oil left in this engine, it should come out of the drain plug very quickly. So at this point, what we're going to do is start both engines at the same time and run these engines until they seize up or self-destruct, whichever comes first.
Okay guys, this is cylinder head on the STP engine. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take the engine apart and look at the uh, crankcase. Okay guys, massive engine failure. This connecting rod just blew apart. It's everywhere. Look at this crankshaft. Look at all the build up, all the damage to this thing. It looks like some of the connecting rod is still attached. It got so hot that it just melted down the aluminum. You can see quite a bit of scoring inside the cylinder wall of this STP engine. So this is the inside of the Lucas engine. As you can see, it just totally exploded as well. There's not a whole lot left of this thing, just parts everywhere. A lot of scoring in this crankshaft as well. As you can see up in here, there's just a tremendous amount of damage done to this. This is a cylinder head on the Lucas engine. As you can see, there's quite a bit of scoring on this piston as well. Here's the end of the connecting rod where it came apart. The connecting rod is very, very stiff up against this uh, wrist pin. As you can see, there's quite a bit of scoring in this engine as well. Lucas versus STP, that was quite the showdown. So which do you think won the competition? Anyway, I'm thinking about having a bit of a showdown between different oil additives. I'd like to hear your comments on that if you think it's a good idea. If you think it's a good idea, I'd like to hear which additives you think I should compete against each other. Every couple weeks, I'd like to have sort of a competition. And we can continue to do this until we run out of additives, which could be quite some time. Just want to say thanks again to those contributing on Patreon. I realize not everyone can afford to do that. It really helps me fund these engines, and it's a lot of fun to do these projects. I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. If there's something I can do better, please let me know about that as well. Until next time, please take care, and I look forward to seeing you then.